Healing. Healing is fun. You're the god of an instance. Everyone's life is in your hand. And you get to play. How low can you go with all their lives? Think the tank is the leader? <laughs> You're the one really pulling all the strings. If everyone else dies, who cares? If you die and there's no red mage or summoner, it's panic time. So you want to get in on this glory? Good. This is where the real power is. Disclaim all before we begin. This guide is created to display the most basic level of healing required to clear all content competently. That means dungeons, normal trials, normal 8 person raids and the 24 person raids. This is uh, just stuff all healers should know and be doing to get the instance to run as smoothly and quickly as possible. Well, healing is easy. All I do is cast Cure 1, Benefit 1, Physique, and then I'm doing fine. No. Just... Just no. You are a DPS. Yep. Get that pure healer idea out of your head. This game is not designed for that at all. And you'll be pressing nothing 80% of the time if you try to do that. These buttons will be anywhere between 70 and 100% of all your GCD casts in an instance. So make sure you bind them somewhere where you really like to press them. A special mention to White Mage AoEs. Yeah, I've um, actually decided to put this in its own entire section because holy holy is holy good. It is straight up 100 times better than both the other healers AoE abilities solely because it has a stun. This stun means the tank isn't taking any damage for roughly seven seconds while you're spamming out holy. Think of it, a 100% damage mitigation for seven seconds on top of doing a very good amount of damage to all the enemies, you're effectively carrying a better version of Super Bolide in all your AoEs. So please, if you're running White Mage in a dungeon, use it in every single pull. Anywho, back to our regular program. You're still a DPS, even if you're not a white mage. The damage incoming in this content is so small that you really, really should be doing damage. Your primary goal is to kill all the enemies. So why wouldn't you when there's nothing else that needs to be done? So what should you do when there's actually healing that needs to be done? The bad buttons and the good buttons. There are effectively two types of healing buttons. There's the good buttons, known as the off-global cooldown buttons, and the use only if you really need to buttons, known as the global cooldown buttons. So why are these considered worse? Well, remember, your end goal is always to kill the enemies. So if you have an ability to heal your party for free, instantly with an OGCD, so you can do more damage to kill enemies faster, why wouldn't you? It has literally zero downsides. All GCD heals have a downside. One, they have cast time, and two, they cost you a GCD. Thus you're not getting to your goal as efficiently. The Trap Traits uh, A quick section to highlight the Trap Traits on White Mage and Astrologian. The level 32 trait, Free Cure, and the level 36 trait, Enhanced Benefit, are trap traits. You should never be casting Cure 1 or Benefit 1 once you have Cure 2 or Benefit 2 unlocked. The only benefit to using these skills is a lower mana cost, but both these healers have effectively infinite mana with Thin Air, Assize, and Lucid Dreaming on White Mage, and draw, sleeve draw, and lucid dreaming on astrologian. So why use a weaker skill? Instead, you should heal them up with your plethora of other buttons. Overhealing is your enemy. Yep, 
But another thing you should keep in mind is that you can heal too much, and this is very, very bad. You're effectively throwing your mana and cooldowns away without any reason. Now, overhealing a bit is impossible to avoid. There will always be some overhealing. But your goal is to overheal as little as possible. So, is the DPS's health above zero and they have enough health for the incoming AoE? Is your tank's health staying roughly the same or going down very steadily and they have enough health for the AoE or tank busters that's coming? Then you're doing your job fine. Your job is not to keep everyone's health full. Your job is to keep everyone alive. So you should be playing. How low can you go? The party's health is your problem. So long as your tank is using their cooldowns, they're doing all they can to make their health go down as steadily and slowly as possible. But it is still your job to keep it from hitting zero. You can sit with your tank at 10% HP if you know no tank bursts or heavy damage is coming. That is fine. The same with your DPS. They can wait for your stars, sizes, whispering dawns, whatever. So long as their HP never hits zero, you're doing your job. I know that it can be kind of scary for some people to do, and very scary for those who have their HP so low, but for the healer, if you can push out as much damage as possible and keep everyone alive, you'll kill the boss faster, getting to the party goal more efficiently. Ending an instance of 1% HP or 100% HP makes no difference. If you're the tank or DPS with such low health, Trust. Trust your healers. However, in unorganized content, people are going to die. <laughs> A lot. If they're a black mage and they're planning on standing in 8 stacks of AoEs because their ley lines told them to... Not getting out of this chair. <laughs> Not getting out of this chair. There's nothing you can do for those people. In unorganized content, you're going to need to use a lot of GCD healing, reviving, and really not understanding what people are thinking sometimes. This is the curse of being a healer because, Sunshine, you're the nanny at this daycare. Do your best to keep them alive, but don't be sad or get frustrated when they end up killing themselves over and over running in circles or standing on the other side of the arena outside of your AoE healing. At the end of the day, it's your job to drag them kicking and screaming away from their strange desire to wipe the entire group and turn that run into a clear. Finally, what to do when you have a slow tank or a no cooldown tank? Just use your words. I know most people just say hello at the start of an instance and then GG at the end when they leave, but if you have a tank that is slow or not using their cooldowns, just have a quick talk with them. They may not know how to tank. Just give them some tips on tanking. Maybe send them a guide. <coughs> if you have a tank that's pulling a single group, then tell them to pull more. But in your guide, you said to glow slow if you need to. I know what I said, but if your healer tells you to go faster, Please, I'm bored, then you pull more. A tank may think they're the leader, but if that's so, then the healer is your god. Their word is law. Congratulations, you've completed your course in basic healing. If you're minimizing your overhealing, maximizing your DPS while keeping everyone alive, then you'll be a competent healer that blends perfectly into mediocrity. To improve from here, you should look up a guide for your specific job so you can optimize your healing usage and cooldown management so you can be crushed in more difficult content. So goodbye then friends, and have a great day.